So a relation is just a mapping between two sets of information. And you've dealt with relations before. Something like y equals 2x plus 1 is a relation. It's a mapping between x and y. And obviously we can graph it. Now these are two ways of showing the same information. y equals 2x plus 1. And this graph gives us that information as well. If I know an x value, I can find that y value. I can show this using what's called an arrow diagram. So for instance, if x equals 1, if I put it in there, 2 times 1 plus 1 is 3, I map it using my arrow diagram. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5, I map it using my arrow diagram. 2 times 3 plus 1 is 7, I map it using my arrow diagram. This is called a 1 to 1 relation. You should also be familiar with this relation, y equals x squared. If I map this, what does it look like? Well, if I put negative 1 in, I get uh, negative 1 squared, which is 1, okay? If I put 0 in, I get 0. If I put 1 in, what happens? 1 squared is 1, okay? And if I put 2 in, I get um, 4. Now, this is a little bit different. It's called a many-to-one relation because there are many x values that come to one y value. I can put one more in here to show you exactly what I mean. Negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4, so I don't need to write another 4 in there. Negative 2 is 4. So, a many to one relation. And then there is the big one. There's this one, which you might not be familiar with. x squared plus y squared equals 1. It's a circle with a radius of 1. Okay, uh, now this is what's called a many to many relationship. So, to illustrate that, I just need these three points here. You can see that when x is 1, y is 0, but also when x is negative 1, y is 0. So we've got that many to one happening there, but then here we have a one to many. Zero, when x is zero, y is one and negative one. So that's a many to many. And finally, we have this one, one to many. You can see it's a quadratic on its side. Look at the equation. Now, x is one. When x is one, y is one or negative one. When x is two, y is four or negative four. So that's a one to many, one to many. Now, these are four kinds of relations, uh, and these are three different ways of talking about relations. There is one way, one other way of talking about relations that I need to show you really quickly. If you want to, you can just give a relation as a set of points. So, point 1, 2, point 2, 3, point 4, 7. You can imagine you'd be collecting some data, two bits of pieces of information on one person, two pieces of information on another person, two pieces of information on a third person. This set can also be thought of as a relation. So we actually have four different ways of looking at relations. Equations, graphs, uh, arrow maps, or this ordered. So now that we know what relations are and all of the different ways that we can show them, we need to talk about a special kind of relation called a function. Now it's straightforward. These are functions. These are not functions. Now those two are functions because they are either one-to-one -one correspondences or many-to-one correspondences. For every x value, there is only one y value. Whereas for these ones, for at least one x value, there is more than one y value. That's why they're not functions. But there's a very easy way to tell whether something is a function or not. The vertical line test. So. If you can draw a vertical line that cuts the relation more than once, it isn't a function. So for example, with this one, I can draw a vertical line. Oh, wait a minute, it's cutting it twice, not a function. A vertical line, oh, it's cutting it twice, not a function. Now with this one, I can draw vertical lines anywhere I want, anywhere I want, hundreds of them, and I'll never cut the, the relation more than once. Therefore, is a function, and this one, I can draw as many vertical lines as I want, and I will never find a place where I can cut it more than once. Therefore, it is a function. That's the vertical line test. Draw vertical lines, try to cut it twice. If you can't, it's a function. Now, we will talk more in depth about functions in a future video, but for now, the only thing you need to take away from that is this vertical line test idea. The only one you might find tricky is this one. How can you use the vertical line test on this one? Well, you just graph it, put the three points on the graph, and see if any of the two points are directly underneath each other. Because if they were directly underneath each other, then you could draw a vertical line through them, and it wouldn't be a function. 
in this case, if I was to draw this, they wouldn't be directly underneath each other, so it is a function. So we've covered quite a bit here. Uh, I'm going to use this in a future video to talk about domain and range, but that's enough for now. That's relations, functions, the vertical line test.